hope that isn't one of the animals that you people think is magic. <laughs> You know, we have an Indian gentleman at our church, a Dr. Patel. It's a beautiful story. The Lord spoke to him and moved him to give us all 20% off on LASIK. You know, those that needed it. Why don't you just have Robert E. Lee charge the line with Shiva and Ganesh? Are right, you guys ready to order? Hang on, honey. Shiva and Ganesh? The Hindu gods against the entire Union army? And orcs. I'll be back. Excuse me, Ganesh is the remover of obstacles and Shiva's the destroyer. When the smoke clears, Abraham Lincoln will be speaking Hindi and drinking mint juleps. Hey. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, but my hammer got stuck in the door on the bus. You went with Thor? What? Just because I'm Indian, I can't be a Norse god? No, 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 Raj has to be an Indian god. That's racism. Oh, call Leonard Hofstadter. Did you say call Temple Beth Seder? <laughs> no. Let me, I... let, let me try. Call McFlono McFlooneyloo. <laughs> Calling Rajesh Kutrapali. <laughs> oh, it's very impressive. <laughs> and a little racist. Can we please make a decision? Not only are there children starving in India, there's an Indian starving right here. <laughs> there's an idea. Why don't we just go out for Indian food? No, ugh. <laughs> what is it about? Friends! Is it just me, or does web chatting with your clothes on seem a little pointless? Rajesh, do you remember Lalita Gupta? The little fat girl that used to kick me in the samosas and call me untouchable? Yes. Well, now she's a dental student at USC. So we gave her your contact information. Why did you do that? At 26 years old, Rajesh, we want grandchildren. But, Papa, I'm not supposed Lalita's to... Lalita's parents approve the match. If you decide on a spring wedding, we can avoid monsoon season. A spring wedding? It's up to you, Davey. You don't want to meddle. Okay, if you don't want to meddle, then why are you meddling? If I may, your parents probably don't consider this meddling. While arranged marriages are no longer the norm, Indian parents continue to have a greater than average involvement in their children's love lives. Why are you telling me about my own culture? <laughs> you seem confused. <laughs> sorry, Mommy, Papa, but with all due respect, I'm I really sorry, can't darling. go through... We have to go. Doogie Hauser is on. Actually, I read somewhere that it's one of the most popular programs in India. It might speak to a cultural aspiration to have one's children enter the medical profession. Well, call her. How can I call her? You know I can't talk to women. I'm done. Anybody else? <laughs> give me the phone. Why? Just give it to me. What are you doing? Don't worry. You'll thank me. Hello, <laughs> Lalita. Yes, it is good to talk to you, too. So, what are you wearing? Oh, not important. Uh, so, anyhow, when would you like to meet? Friday works for me. And I'll call you with a time and place. But in the meantime, keep it real, babe. You may now thank me. <laughs> For what, making me sound like a Simpsons character? <laughs> Is that woman Ashwarya Rai? Yes, isn't she an amazing actress? Actually, I'd say she's a poor man's moderate diction. <laughs> How dare you? Ashwarya Rai is a goddess. By comparison, Madhuri Dixit is a leprous prostitute. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Obviously, you're not that familiar with Indian cinema. <laughs> it's not so bad, really. At least these trains have modern plumbing. In India, you squat over a hole in the train and expose your naked buttocks to the chilly air of Rajasthan. He is referring, of course, to third class on Indian Railway's magnificent Ranakpur Express and its 1,200-kilometer journey from Maharashtra to the Beaconer Junction. 
Oh, look, now he's boring on an international scale. It's hot in here. Must be summer. 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 That's cute. Really? I just made it up. Have you seen Slumdog Millionaire? Oh, yeah, I loved it. It's loosely based on my life. Actually, in India, the names of constellations are different. Where you have the Big Dipper, we have the Big Curry Pot. You're making that up. You got me. <laughs> now, what are you going to do with me? Raj? Yes? Look. What am I looking at? You tell me. Non-alcoholic beer, yeah. <laughs> Of his. <laughs> Hello, I'm Sanjay Wallowitz from Bombay. Okay, I'm stumped. I don't want to go back to India. It's hot and loud, and there's so many people. <laughs> you have no idea. They're everywhere. <laughs> okay, guys, think. How do we keep Raj in the country? Why doesn't he just get another job? What are you asking me for? I don't know if you can talk now or not. Oh, Beef. I'm gonna miss you so much. Do you know at the Mumbai McDonald's, you can't get a Big Mac? All you can get is the Chicken Maharaja Mac. And the special sauce? Curry, which in India, believe you me, is really not that special. Don't worry, you'll find another job. Yeah, let me start practicing for it. Do you want fries with that Maharaja Mac? <laughs> Hi, Leonard. Hello, Raj. Hi, Sheldon. Forgive me, as you know, I'm not adept at reading facial cues, but I'm going to take a stab here. You're either sad or nauseated. I'm sad. I was going to say sad. I don't know why I hedged. <laughs> What are you eating? Elbow macaroni with ground hamburger and tomato sauce. Oh, beefaroni. I think I'll miss you most of all. <laughs> I've always been a little confused about this. Why don't Hindus eat beef? We believe cows are gods. Not technically. In Hinduism, cattle are thought to be like God. Do not tell me about my own culture, Sheldon. In the mood I'm in, I'll take you out. I swear to cow. <laughs> what do you mean you didn't get the job? How could you not get it? You know... He's British, I'm Indian. <laughs> Ever since Gandhi, they haven't liked us very much. <laughs> Raj says he can teach you... What did you call it? I don't know, some Indian meditation crap. <laughs> okay, Sheldon. I'm going to be leading you through a series of meditation exercises. These methods come from the ancient gurus of India and have helped me overcome my own fears. And yet you can't speak to women. True, but thanks to meditation, I'm able to stay in the same room with them without urinating. <laughs> now, <clears throat> close your eyes. Okay, but don't punch me. People of Sheldonopolis, this is your mayor. Follow me. If the children can't run, leave them behind. Oh, the simulated horror. Raj? Just as I suspected. Meditation is nothing but hokum. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>